This is a severe weather briefing by the National Weather Service in La Crosse, Wisconsin, taped on Sunday evening, June 15th, for severe weather that's possible on Monday evening, June 16th. The main timing tomorrow night, we're expecting the severe weather to come through, would be between 5 and 11 p.m. The hazards that we're expecting tomorrow night, widespread damaging winds, large hail, isolated tornadoes, and heavy rainfall all are, are possible with these storms. Most of the area has a chance of seeing this severe weather, but there's a little bit less of a chance as you go into north central Wisconsin. The area in the yellow here is uh, the Storm Prediction Center's uh, area where the highest uh, chances for severe weather are. So you can see the yellow area going from southeast South Dakota, northeast Nebraska, and to western Wisconsin is highlighted there for the severe weather. And uh, within that area, there's a little bit higher of a chance uh, you can see here in the red area where it says 30% for uh, southern Minnesota and northern Iowa there where uh, the severe weather is a little bit more likely. So a uh, little bit closer in, see uh, most of the area has a chance of seeing this severe weather. Uh, the further west you go, a little bit higher chance of uh, seeing the severe weather, but as you can see, most of the area has a chance of seeing this uh, Monday and Monday night. This is one forecast model's evolution of what happens tomorrow, which goes along pretty closely with what we think is going to happen. Some timing differences uh, with this might occur, but at least gives you an idea of what might happen with the storms, where uh, here's 7 p.m. It shows some of the storms starting off in the west in the late afternoon, early evening hours. This might be a little bit higher chance of seeing the tornadoes out west, but as the storms kind of merge all together into this big line that becomes a little bit uh, higher of a, a winds, widespread wind damage issue as it uh, forms into that big line there. And by 1 a.m. it looks like most of it has moved off to the east. But again, some timing differences might occur here if the storms uh, don't merge as fast. We could have uh, some uh, tornado threat going a little bit longer into the night. So everything's pretty much on the board at this point. Uh, 4 a.m. pushing off to the east, maybe still some some heavy rainfall sticking around, but by Tuesday morning it looks like it shifts off to the south and is out of most of the area. Heavy rainfall with this, uh, here's the forecast from the Weather Prediction Center with about 1 to 3 inches of rainfall possible uh, for tomorrow. And the p weather pattern stays fairly active through the rest of the week with another inch there possible on Tuesday and then work through the middle part of the week there with another two to four inches possible uh, with some more uh, storm systems coming in. So you add it all up and over the next five days we could see over uh, five, six inches of rainfall. So it's something we're going to have to watch for some potential uh, flooding issues. The impacts, uh, again, the potential is there for that widespread damaging winds, the large hail, and the locally heavy rain. And we can't rule out that a tornado or two, or two will occur from these storms. That widespread wind damage could lead to power lines going down and power outages into the overnight hours. So have some battery operated uh, things with you like radio, flashlights, uh, your cell phone, make sure your cell phone's charged up, uh, things like that. Storm details again in the evening and overnight hours. Have a way to get severe weather alerts to wake you if uh, you've already gone to sleep. Uh, outdoor tornado sirens are likely to not wake you up unless they're right outside your window. So have a cell phone by you that will give you the alerts or have uh, no weather radio near you as well. And if you are a storm spotter, we will likely need you uh, in the afternoon, evening hours there. Again, this was Severe Weather Briefing, taped Sunday evening, June 15th. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. If you have any storm reports, you can post pictures to those as well. And uh, stay tuned to the latest forecast briefings at our YouTube page as well.